Hello, hello, this is Dr. Laura Conver, and today I wanna to give you my top seven tips for when the weather gets colder for grounding in the fall and winter. In the summer, it's so easy, right? People just, you know, go out barefoot. You can be in the water and get grounded. You can always use water to cool down and enhance your conductivity. You can be barefoot in the grass. You can be in the sand. You can be in the ocean. You can be in a lake. So easy to get grounded in the summer. But what about when it gets colder outside? Well, my number one favorite tip when it gets a little bit cooler and I don't wanna be barefoot anymore is to think hands. So the first thing you wanna do is ground through your hands. When it's really cold and you're bundled up in your winter jacket and there's snow outside, you can keep your hands warm and in your pockets and it's so much easier to just slip one hand out to touch a rock, to touch a tree, to touch the ground, to touch cement, to touch a metal pole, maybe a signpost that's a, buried in the ground or connected to the cement or concrete or sidewalk at the bottom, well, that's gonna be grounded the whole way up. So think hands. The second option is you can still keep your hands warmer than your feet going barefoot by using fingerless gloves. So you can use wool fingerless gloves or cotton fingerless gloves because your body is so conductive and it grounds from head to toe the minute one little body part is grounded. So all I really have to do is have one tip of one finger, just your pinky finger, touching the earth, and I'll be grounded head to toe and so will you. Another option I really, really like that's used by athletes that have to practice outside, play outside, extreme athletes who like to do winter sports to protect their skin from getting chapped and frostbitten is to use a lotion called Warm Skin. I love this so much that I also carry this on my website. It's all natural and it's made in the USA and you can use it on your face and other body parts that it's hard to keep covered and protected from the elements, your ears. But I like to recommend, you can use it on your feet if you want to brave going barefoot and just lasting a little bit longer before you feel really cold and frostbitten but I like to recommend using it on your hands covering your hands with warm skin not only will moisturize it but it will protect it from the harsh elements outside and allow you to stay with your bare hands out there longer or you can even use warm skin on your hands and then go ahead and use your fingerless gloves or your conductive silver gloves on top of the warm skin and you will really notice a much longer period of time that you can stay outside grounded before you really feel cold. So we're still focusing on hands. Think hands, protecting your hands with warm skin and fingerless gloves or conductive silver gloves. Another option with hands is to use a hiking stick that you ground. You can make your own and at the end of this video I'm going to show you how to make your own grounded hiking stick but I also make these for you and I have them available on my website if you don't even want to have to make so it. One thing I like to do every morning is take my dog outside and I let her sniff around outside and I you know, pet her and I kiss her. And the whole time I'm doing that with my hands warm on my beautiful, adorable, warm little dog, I'm grounded. So that's a way for me to snatch some grounding time without me directly touching the cold earth uh, outside at all. So thank pets. I have a video where I show you me grounding through my dog so you can hop over onto my YouTube channel and see that video for yourself where I show you with a ground test meter that I'm grounded through my pup. So you can do the same even if you have an outdoor cat while you're petting your outdoor cat, you're grounded. Mm -hmm. Every human body and every animal and every tree is so fully conductive. All you have to do is touch that person, that plant, or that animal, and you're instantaneously grounded. So I love using the fact that my husband embraces the cold to go on a walk with him holding hands knowing that as he grounds, I'm also grounded without me directly ever touching the earth at all. So think warm bodies to keep you warm um, if you don't wanna touch the earth directly yourself. The sixth and seventh way, my last two favorite ways in the winter to be grounded are indoors because some days you don't even wanna go outside at all. And homes are grounded. There's a grounding system grounding your plumbing, grounding your major appliances, grounding your outlets. It's the third little circular prong in a North American outlet that's grounded, but outlets all over the world are grounded and you can test that for yourself with little outlet checkers. And if you have a grounded outlet, you can ground safely inside your home where you're toasty and warm without ever even going outside. You can actually fill up a water bottle with nice, hot, almost boiling water. You can bring it into your bed and have your bed be warm and grounded and waiting for you. And you can snuggle it all night long or just while you watch a movie on the sofa, you can put your hot water bottle as long as it's my grounded one that goes into a grounded cozy. That keeps the water warmer longer, it keeps you warmer longer, and it grounds you directly using the grounding system of your home. 
And the last way that you can stay in your house, cozy and warm, snuggled up in a blanket, grounded, is to make sure that blanket is actually a grounding blanket. So there's lots of grounding blankets. I know the only ones I'll carry on my website are made out of organic cotton and use a very, very soft, pure silver and cotton grounding material that lines the entire back so that when you have your grounding blanket around you or draped over your body, you're grounded from head to toe just using a grounding cord and snuggling in and watching a movie or reading a book or eating dinner or you know having a date with your loved one or snuggling with your pet. So I really hope some of those tips have given you an idea of how you can still access being grounded even when it's fall, even when it's winter, even when it's cold outside. You can ground indoors, you can still ground outdoors. And now I'm going to show you how to create your own grounding stick so that that can help you too for years and years and years and years to come. All right, to create your own hiking stick that is grounded and will ground you through your hands as you walk all over the earth in the winter, all you need is a stainless steel bottom tip for your uh, walking cane or hiking stick and some conductive sticky tape it's simply this. tape run this tape from the bottom of your hiking stick all the way up to the handle area right and then cut it at the top this is totally optional but I like to wrap the top a few extra times with some more of this conductive tape like this so if you make kind of a hand grip like this, this entire hand grip is now grounded, right? So it's running up the stick from the earth and now wherever you hold it, your entire hand, the entire circumference of this hiking stick is now totally gonna ground you. Now at the other end, at the bottom, this is so simple. This is solid stainless steel and this is going to grip into the earth and even reach past, you know, if you have a layer of mulch or dead leaves that are on the ground, this is gonna dig nice and into the earth and provide this conductive grounding source of healing all the way. This entire thing will become instantly grounded and then it will run all the way up to your hands because all you do is secure this onto the bottom, whatever this looks like to you. You don't have to have this stopper here. Um, it could be a broom handle, it could be a stick, um, but if you're using my nice solid Aspen hiking sticks, it's gonna look just like this. And all you do is use a screwdriver to secure this in place. And obviously where this stainless steel um, cane tip is touching, this conductive ribbon, now it's everything that's touching this ribbon is now gonna be powerfully grounded when you're in the, on the earth. So this is what the finished product looks like. And what I love about this tip is, um, all you do is squeeze the back and flip it up. If you're going inside and you don't need the grounding element, now you just have a regular cane tip or a walking stick tip that you can use even indoors. But when you wanna add the grounding element, you squeeze it and then snap this down. And now you're securely gonna ground directly to the earth. So that wonderful healing grounded energy is gonna be conducted all the way up to where you're holding onto your hiking stick at the top. And uh, when it's really, really cold and you don't even wanna have bare hands, you can use fingerless gloves, and I have these on my website, to keep your hands even warmer. As long as you have one single fingertip out, you know, I'm nice and warm, the blood is staying nice and warm in my hands, but I still just have a grounded conductive fingertip that's touching this grounded conductive hiking stick and I'm fully grounded from head to toe like I'm laying out on the beach and I love it. And then if it's even too cold for fingerless gloves, I also have totally conductive silver based gloves on my website as well. So now I don't have to have any skin exposed and holding on with this conductive silver glove onto this grounded hiking stick, I can be fully grounded from head to toe, all winter long, comfortably through my hands. You can find silver conductive grounding gloves. I even have child size for your children. When they're playing outside in the snow, they can be grounded through their silver conductive grounding gloves. I have fingerless gloves and these hiking sticks, as well as just the kit that includes the conductive tape and the stainless steel bottom tip for you to make your own grounded hiking stick out of any hiking stick that you love or any cane that you happen to have that you love all on my website at intuition-physician.com.